The tutorial you're about to see is a part of a 5 star rated Udemy course, Arduino Zero to Hero. It also comes with its own specialized Arduino kit by DFRobot. Check it out, both links in the description. Hello and welcome! In this tutorial we're going to create an RGB LED color mixer. It, uh, basically that's a device that can create any color imaginable on that LED using these uh, potentiometers as knobs which can sort of turn the level of red, green and blue. So we are going to accomplish that by using the PWM feature so analog right on these pins on the um, RGB and then controlling that analog right through three potentiometers. So I suppose we can look at that code that we previously had from the you know series of blinking red, green, blue, red, green, blue, red, green, blue and um, see what we can do to just analog right a particular value onto some of these um, red, green and blue aspects of that LED. So let's start by adding three inputs because we're going to have them pin mode. We need three analog pins. I'm going to go from A345. So A3 comma input. A3, A4, A5. Um, then we're going to have something like three values. So int red or potentiometer for red. I think we can just say red level. Red level. I like it. In thread level. Red, blue, green. So right here where we have um, these delays can go away. Essentially, we're going to have, we're going to get rid of all of this and make that into analog. Right. In fact, I would be faster retyping this in some respect. So, first off, um, we, instead of um, high or low, we now have a range 0 to 255. What is interesting and strange is that analog read goes from 0 to 1023, whereas analog write goes from 0 to 255. So just for interest's sake, I'm going to try writing 100 to the green one. And there you have it. So we can now mix a bit of blue, 100. So that's green and blue. And now if we make it barely green, I can just put like five, a tiny amount of green. Yeah, so it's mostly blue. So this stuff works. So what I would like to do right now is to set red, green and blue levels. So we're going to read them off of the three pins A3, A4, A5. So we can simply say red level equals to analog read A3 and then do the same for green and blue. So, I don't even think I'm going to need to serial print here, but we're going to see. I think I will, though. I think I will, because I'll show you right now, because 255 has to be the limit, and I need to see um, green level. So we're going to write these three values on it, and then I'm going to control... 
I might just control green because it's the most visible of all the three colors. Our eyes are most sensitive to it. So I'm going to go serial dot begin. 9600. Very neat. And here we're going to go serial dot print. And we're going to print red level. So we're going to go ahead and do this. And yeah, very interesting. I expected it to be higher. So we can now write in red level. Oh, wait, was I going to do green? Yeah. We can now write red, blue, red, RGB, green. Okay, for argument's sake, I'm just gonna make the other two to zero and I'm just gonna control the green LED. So right now we should see a little bit of green and we should know exactly how much green we are seeing. We are seeing about 70, 80 points. So our goal is going to be to make those values go from zero to roughly 255. So I'm gonna fix and set up that potentiometer now just for the green we're gonna check out that everything's okay I think green is on dun, 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 dun. so green level is gonna be a5 radio so this let me zoom you guys in so this right here is going to be the green knob so i'm going to connect that to a5 oops i think it should be there and bang see how much brighter inconsistent max so now i'm going to write create put this in this potentiometer in all i need is any one of the pins on the other side connected and it looks like the potentiometer is down to zero. But look at this, check this out. So you see how it ends here? That means we got to 255 and off. So that's what we need to work on. So right now, that live reading is gonna be super useful. Four, 514. 514, that 514 is a fair bit. Um, 255 and does it go all the way to zero? Yeah, zero to five fourteen. Five fourteen is more than two times two fifty five. So now I'm gonna try to make this dial turn it from zero to two fifty five, and I'm gonna write in green. Green level. equals to int green level over and to get it see int turns it into an integer to get it to 2.1 i believe right now when we put put this guy in we should top out at about 250 which will be perfect let's see it 244 yeah uh, let's see if we can do a little bit better. Divided by 2.08. Yeah. why I'm going to such detail 245 it doesn't matter 245 will do and we can do the same for the other pins because even though these potentiometers may just put those levels um, 
at slightly different values, we know the potentiometers are roughly the same. So we're gonna basically, oh, by the way, merge. Let me show you the code that I was working on and let me show you what you were looking at because this is what I did. I wrote int of green level divided by 2.09 and then we saw the values and the values are right here. They are 245. So when I crank this to the max, it's 245. And when I drop it down, it goes to zero. And if you can look at the LED and the numbers, you're gonna see that those numbers indicate the LED brightness, which basically gets our LED to the full range. And now I'm gonna copy the same line of code and I'm gonna make it for the red, blue, red, blue. And I'm gonna go back into the circuit and I'm gonna build the other potentiometers. Should only take a minute, really. There we go. Let's see if we can keep the gap consistent. Dun, dun, dun. Get some of these. It doesn't really, we'll get them all into the bottom leg because that way we're turning the, the knob always in the same direction. Three resistors going into this one. And now, There we are. Can you see everything? Yes. So now that I have the circuit, I'm gonna go back into the program and I'm gonna upload this. And we're gonna see if all the um, lights work well. So I'm gonna crank everything down to zero. So I'm gonna try the, aha. Uh -huh. Not complying. So this one isn't working, but that one. So what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Aha, we are not writing the level here. We're not writing to the red level and we're not writing the blue one to the blue level. Okay. So let's check this out again. Ooh, looks like blue one's in the middle. Crank it all the way. Doesn't go off, perfect. So we got blue good, we got red, cranks all the way. And here we go, that's white. Turn them all on. Wanna make a purple color? I guess we need to take out a bit of the green. Where's the green? Right there. There you go. You got purple. If it's too bright, you can turn these both down. And make a more peaceful purple. I can turn these lights off so you can see the colors a bit nicer. One second. There you go. Purple. Bit of green already changes everything. I'm gonna turn everything to zero. We're back to white. I think the zeros are this way. Ooh. So the green seems to be cranked up. Having a hard time to get to zero. Ah, I 
disconnected that. There you go. Green. So, let's see if I can make yellow. So that'll be green and red. There you have it. That's a yellow color. So, I think I've done everything I plan to do with this tutorial. The code is really straightforward. The only new concept that we've already tackled a little bit is the PWM analog write, which allows us to write different levels of intensity to these LED pins. And if we were analog writing on the analog pins, these LEDs wouldn't work properly because PWM is a pulsing wave and these LEDs just wouldn't work with a voltage that's like one volt. But if you give them a pulse of, of five volts that's on a fifth of a time, it's the same amount of power as if you're giving them one volt. But that pulse is going to work, which is what makes PWM necessary. So that's all for this tutorial. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye. If you enjoyed this tutorial, hit the like button, totally good karma, and do subscribe. A lot more like this coming in 2018. Again, check out the links in the description and the playlist right here on your screen right now.